Hello. So I put this little video together to document this little MIDI device that I've been working on. In a nutshell, it's a pocketable drum pad that gives you access to 51 mappable sliders. My main use case is live automation of a bunch of drum parameters, but they can be mapped to anything in your DAW. Let's jump in. It's a 4x4 drum pad, you know, I can hit the pads and play drums. It's not velocity sensitive, as you saw there were just push button switches, so it's just sending at the default velocity, I think it's set to 120. The next thing to look at are the sliders. Going into Ableton, I'm just gonna map uh, one of the sliders to the reverb sends for my drum kit here. So I'll go ahead and hit that slider, turn MIDI control off, or MIDI mapping off, and now you can see I can control the reverb sends. The cool part about the sliders though is that there aren't only three sliders, there are effectively 51 sliders because if you hold a button down, you can see the light turn blue. And now if I push one of these sliders up, it's sending a different CC message than the global one. And that's true for all of the buttons. So each button, if you hold it down, you can send three unique CC messages, which makes it really nice for drums because each drum you can map three parameters to. Like for example, I might want to map the, uh, the volume, uh, the sample selection, you know, something like that. The other feature to call it here is that there is a CC mode. So if I double click the function button, I can see a C on the screen. That means I'm in CC mode. In this mode, none of the drum, uh, or sorry, none of the note messages are sent, only CC messages. And the buttons also function differently in that they latch. So here, if I latch these two buttons and I had all the CCs mapped for the sliders and I turned this, it would actually send two CC messages at once. And you can do up to 16. So if you wanted to, you know, change the decay on just two of the samples on the fly, you know, you could do that. Just one, you can do that. I'm gonna go back to the note mode. Um, and I'm gonna start mapping. So hopping into Ableton here, I'm gonna start with our kick, which is this one. So I'm gonna map this slider to sample selection, and then the others will, will kind of pick on the fly. So I'm gonna to go to sample select. I was messing around earlier, so it's already mapped. We'll override it. It might be the same thing. Um, so I'll hold this down. So now I'm sending the pad specific CC message for this slider. Let it go. Um, I'll hold it again and we'll map something else. So let's do the decay. I'll hold it, map this one to the decay of the kick drum. And then let's do the filter. Hold the same button again and map this to the filter. So the idea is you could do this for each drum hit in your kit and then have a lot of control quickly over parameters using these sliders, which are, you know, a lot more fun to use than a mouse. So I'm gonna go out of MIDI mapping mode just so we can see how this goes. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna click in some, uh, some kicks. Nice, so we got a four on the floor kick thing going here. If I hold this button, since I mapped this one to sample selection, we're going through all the different drum samples in my uh, multi-sampled drum kit. Let's hold this again and we can do the filter. And then the decay. Get wacky. 